gotta pull up the tag. Gotta pull up this tag. Where's this tag? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a reader habits book tag. I think that's what it's called. Let me double check. Oh, reading habits book tag. Um, so you guys know the drill. I've got my phone. I'm gonna answer some questions regarding my reading habits. Yeah, let me know in the comments if any of my habits are your habits or if you would do things differently. Okay, question number one. Do you have a certain place at home for reading? I actually have a reading nook. I will insert an image here so you could see exactly where I love to read and I made this nook specifically for reading and chilling and listening to my records. However, because I am a mom and I'm really busy running around, um, I can't just like lounge like I do in this picture. So that's like Instagram versus reality. So in reality, I don't sit there as much. Most of my reading is done when everyone's asleep in the house and I'm either in my bed or on my couch, but it's mostly on my bed. That was a long answer, sorry. <laughs> okay, question number two. Bookmark a random piece of paper. I used to be a random piece of paper girl, but now I have grown up and now I use a bookmark. Speaking of bookmarks, hold on. I just bought this new bookmark. This is Cassian from the Akatar series. And this is Nesta. And I'm absolutely obsessed. Um, this is from the bookish shop. Uh, I have their link in my description and I have a little coupon code if you wanna get it for yourself. But I love this so much. Okay, question number three. Can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter or a certain amount of pages? So, hmm, I do both to be honest. It depends on how tired I am. I like to finish at the chapter. That is like my goal. But if I can't keep my eyes open and I'm like falling asleep, I will just end at the page that I'm on. And I hate doing that, but sometimes you have no choice. Sometimes you just gotta pass out and go to bed because the chapter's too dang long. Yeah. Okay. Question number four. Do you eat or drink while reading? I drink coffee all the time so most likely i'm drinking coffee while i'm writing but it's like to the side i'm not like holding the book and like drinking it like you know i don't want to spill anything on the on the book or the kindle five multitasking music or tv while reading no no unless i'm like at someone's house and they're watching like for example my husband likes to watch shark tank a lot um and i'll read while he's watching that um, but it's very distracting, so I don't like it, but I could do it if I tried really hard, but I mostly like it to be relatively, uh, silent. Number six, one book at a time or several at once. Okay. So in the beginning of my bookstagram journey, I was a one book at a time girl. And then I noticed everyone was reading multiple books at the same time. And then they were reading a ton of books and I was like, I'm behind. Am I doing, am I reading wrong? Like, I feel like I need to catch up. There's so many series and everyone's finishing so quickly. And yeah, that inner like comparison game came into play. So I started to read multiple books at the same time. But then I started to enjoy my books less because my brain couldn't handle all the different fantasy fandoms. And because I love fantasy, so mixing them really messed me up. So then I tried doing one contemporary and one fantasy and one of them had to be an audio and the other one had to be the physical book. So that has worked well. Um, but lately because of my reading slump, I can only do one at a time. So that was a long answer. I'm sorry, but I had to give you the whole spiel. Seven, reading at home or everywhere. I can read everywhere, preferably like a cute, cozy coffee shop or um, that's pretty much it. Or probably like a bookstore or a library, but um, I prefer reading at home the most. There's nothing better than like lighting a fall candle, getting in a cozy blanket, wearing cozy loungewear and sitting and reading your book. 
and you've got the coffee and you don't have to worry about um, just being distracted by random things. Um, yeah, there's nothing better than being home. Eight, reading out loud or silently in your head. Silently in my head. Yes, I cannot read out loud. I, I did in high school and college, I would read out loud only because I like really, really didn't like the books. So I feel like I read them out loud just to keep myself awake. Number nine, do you read ahead or even skip pages? No, no. But I do count how many pages left I have, like a psycho. So like <laughs> where I am, I'll check how many pages are left and then I'll like subtract it and be like, okay, I have like 50 pages left, 75 pages left. Uh, Cause then I, I just feel better about my progress. Number 10, breaking the spine or keeping it like new? 100% keeping it like new. I can't break the spine. I can't. It breaks my heart. Nope. 11, do you write in your books? Okay. I never used to. And then um, I started a read along for Throne of Glass. And then I started to like um, color in with like a little like highlighter crayon uh, on certain quotes or lines or parts of the book. So now I do write in my books. But it depends like for example like these collector's editions or like my chain of gold i won't r write in a collector's edition or like a specialty book um i'll have another one to the side that i use for all of my annotating or, or writing but yeah okay that was the last question um i love doing these tags they're short they're fun and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm sorry if i talk too much and uh yeah, I'm on my, what is this, fifth cup of coffee? Yeah, so eventually, I don't even know when I'm gonna go to bed at this point, cause it's like six o'clock or seven o'clock where I am, and I'm still drinking coffee, cause I need to stay awake. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and keep on reading. Bye.